For those of you that have a French country home and you're just looking to update it, you want it to feel light, airy, warm, and inviting, then you might want to check out this paint color right here. It's called Benjamin Moore Tapestry Beige. It's absolutely stunning when you pair it correctly. So today's color review, I'm going to show you the undertones of this paint color and why it's so important to compare this with your fixed elements and why lighting will play a big role on how this paint color comes look like in your home. And for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm an international color consultant. I help people all over North America find the perfect interior or exterior paint color without ever stepping a foot in their home. And check out the reviews. I have over 400 reviews and see what clients have to say. And the link is right down below in the description section. Okay, so what is Benjamin Moore Tapestry Beige. The first thing we need to find out is what is the undertone? So I'm gonna show you the undertones of this paint color by comparing it with other colors to help give you an idea of what this could look like in your home. So when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Gray Owl, by the way, Benjamin Moore Gray Owl is a blue gray. Watch this. When you compare Benjamin Moore Gray Owl with Benjamin Moore Tapestry Beige, you will instantly see how Benjamin Moore Tapestry Beige is pulling out the green undertones. So we know that Benjamin Moore Tapestry Beige has some green in it, but there's something else you need to know. Watch what happens when I compare this with a cream paint color that happens to be called Creamy by Sharon Williams. Watch this. So when you compare Tapestry Beige with Creamy, you're gonna instantly notice how there's more gray in Benjamin Moore Tapestry Beige, and you see a little bit of the green in Tapestry Beige. So we know that Benjamin Moore Tapestry Beige is a grayish. So it's a mix of a beige, it has a little bit of a gray, and it's got a little bit of green. So that's really important to know. Now, what about fixed elements? What type of fixed elements pair well with this? I'm gonna give you a couple examples. So let's just say that you have a cream kitchen countertop that looks like this. Watch what happens when you compare this with tapestry beige. You're gonna see how the muted undertones of tapestry beige pair really well with the muted undertones of this beautiful, a uh, creamy kitchen countertop. So let's say that you have a kitchen countertop that looks like this, it's a warm off white, and you have a little bit of a blue gray undertone, watch what happens. When you compare this with Benjamin Moore Tapestry Beige, this works for a couple of reasons. Benjamin Moore Tapestry Beige is gonna make this warm off white look crisp. And number two, the little bit of green and the little bit of gray pairs in contrast beautifully with the blue gray undertones of this kitchen countertop. But what about flooring? Well, if you have a maple wood flooring, Benjamin Moore Tapestry Beige pairs really well, but if you have red cherry wood flooring, you might wanna be a little bit careful for a couple of reasons. And it also has to do with lighting. This is where lighting comes to play. So if you have a north facing room and you have red cherry wood flooring, the chances are the green undertones are gonna be a lot more pronounced with Benjamin Moore Tapestry Beige. But if you have a south facing room or any room that receives a lot of natural lighting, then this is gonna be a lot lighter and you're just gonna have that touch of warmth with a little bit of green. So please compare this with your fixed elements and be mindful of how this paint color could look like in your home, depending on the type of lighting that you may have in the different spaces of your home. And speaking of beiges, every week, I upload a new design tip that I don't post anywhere else, only on my website. And today's design tip is, are there any beiges that don't have undertones? Check it out in the link down below to find out the answer. So until then, I will see you in the next video.